Hi, this is Mike and we're looking at the Bitcoin chart. All right, so just woke up and saw this lovely pattern. Now, what is going on here at the lows? Is it the beginning of wave three all of a sudden? No, I really doubt that highly because of what we spoke about yesterday. Bottom of wave one, zigzag up. We only saw one of them. So what is this pattern? So unless you know what the waves are actually doing, I wouldn't suggest just blindly, you know, going based on your emotion, right? The moment you actually decide that you're going to go short now here, right here, right now, because of your emotion, well, do you know what the market's going to do? It's going to come back and stop you out. And it's fine if the market stops you out, just not because of this reason, right? Not because you think it's going to continue lower, okay? <clears throat> now, the RSI, all it did was continue to just get weaker. The four hour, it just went even more oversold, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. So the question remains, what is going on? All right, cool. So after wave one, we need a zigzag up. Okay, so at the lows, we got a very small, basically zigzag, right? So that zigzag there tells us one thing. It tells us that, yes, we are expecting a wave two correction now, but the wave two correction is starting off with an expansion. Okay, it, the first thing that happened is that it, it's expanded in what is the beginning of wave B, right? So B here. Now, is this something that you could have anticipated quite easily? Well, if you're awake, potentially, yes. Um, but in terms of what it means for the overall structure, it's just the same sort of thing that happens when you have a head and shoulders pattern, right? And you have like a neckline. And you'll notice that when you go back to this part of the neckline, this part of the neckline is usually always um, got that little dip down there and then it goes back up and then it does the rest of its thing, right? So this is, just think of it in, those, in, that, in that term. All right, I'll give you an example. Uh, I just got to find one somewhere. Right now, it's it's more the case of understanding where we are. So if, if, if we're not going to keep going down, then what is going to happen? So the first leg of a zigzag wave B is, of course, A. Okay. So like any zigzag, the first part is always sharp. <clears throat> right. So at this point in time, you might be thinking, okay, well, isn't this pretty sharp? It looks like impulsive. Well, it does, right? Because people are starting to feel the pain, right? So it's at this point in time that the market then starts to basically, you know, discount people's emotions and starts to, you know, put in a low, which in this case would be an expanded B low. Now, did I expect that zigzag to be so small? No, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I didn't. Uh, and I had to go to bed as well. So here we just wait to see what the market's trying to tell us, okay? Now I think you'll agree, if this was a third of a third wave, we wouldn't see price bounce at all. Basically zero, none. Right. So at this point in time, my guess is that it'll bounce wherever it bottoms out because it might not be bottomed yet. Right. It'll bounce pretty big time. Okay. It'll bounce halfway. It'll bounce more than halfway. And then it'll basically produce another move down. Right. Okay. It'll do something like that. Before you get wave C, that goes up like this. 
So it'll completely weird you out. You won't have any idea what's going on unless you understand the pattern that it's creating. Okay, that's the only way I know how to put it to you. You need to wait for that. If you want to trade something, trade the C wave. Okay, wait for this pullback, trade the C wave. Unless you do that, um, you won't have a clue what's going on because at this point in time, if you think that's a wave three down, just because it made one tiny little zigzag, I think you should just be careful with that thinking because that's the type of thinking that probably gets you in trouble in the first place. Okay, just remember we're oversold on the four hour. How much more oversold can we get? Well, it can't go into the abyss down to, the, you know, it can't go that low, basically. All right, there, there is a limit to how low it can go, but it's not just that. Just remember what happened yesterday. We had an ending pattern with an ending five. Okay, things don't just magically ignore those things. There's no ignoring those patterns. You have to be logical. Okay. A, up. Yes, zigzag up. B, down. Okay. Confusing to most. Thinking it's going to keep going down hard. Yeah, markets have proven people wrong many times. Thanks for watching.